Hi, my name is Kevin Roy. I'm on the product marketing team here at Fingerprint. And today I'd like to go over a quick demo on payment fraud. And you can use this demo to see how Fingerprint can protect your transactions from card cracking attempts, stolen credit cards, and reduced chargebacks. I'm gonna scroll down and begin the demo. Just to make sure that everything's working, I'm gonna click place an order with this pre-filled card information. All right, great. Looks like payment went through and everything seems to be all right. So I'm gonna try and replicate a card cracking attempt, which is somebody using a bunch of credit cards in rapid succession, hoping to correctly guess one of the numbers. So I'm gonna input a couple different credit card numbers here. Click place order. All right, let's try a different one. Place an order again. Let's go for another one. And let's try one last one. All right, so after that third unsuccessful payment attempt and me trying to actually pay with a fourth one, uh, in the last 365 days, the payment attempt was not even performed. So after a couple of rapid successions of the card cracking attempt, I will be prevented from trying to place another order. So let's try the chargeback mechanism. I'm gonna restart the demo here. And I'm gonna enter the pre-filled card information one more time. Great, and I'm gonna ask for a chargeback after this purchase. Place the order. Awesome, so let's say I wanted to do that a couple more times and keep asking for chargebacks. One more time. And we'll do it one third time. All right, so you'll notice that uh, I've performed a couple chargebacks there and after performing more than one in the last year, the payment will not go through. So. The visitor ID is essentially recognizing me as a user and know that I am prone to chargebacks. And so to prevent this, after a couple chargebacks in a year period, I will be completely denied from either uh, processing a payment or even asking for a chargeback. So let's do the last part of the demo. I'm going to restart the demo one last time. Great. And instead of asking for a chargeback, I'm going to flag this visitor using stolen credit card after purchase. Great, so it looks like my payment went through with the stolen credit card. Um, I've now been flagged for using a stolen credit card. So let's say I wanted to place another order. And as you can see, uh, according to our records, you paid with a stolen credit card, this payment was not processed. So it's important to keep in mind that I'm not logged in during all this. This is strictly based on the fingerprint visitor identifier that's able to recognize these repeated transactions and shut down any attempts at card cracking or um, chargeback abuse or paying with a stolen credit card. Uh, check out uh, fingerprinthub.com. We have a bunch of other use cases and demos available on the site. And thanks for watching.